I'm Lil TZ, and this is who I am. I'm from the Bronx, New York, and growing up in the Bronx is like, it's wicked. It's like, it's a lot of things, there's a lot of things going on. It's like, you can either choose the right way to go or the wrong way to go. Even if, I feel like even growing up in the Bronx, even if you want to choose the right way, it's, still, it's, it's hard because it's like so many other things are going to step in your way. So it's like, I don't know. But I'm happy I'm from the Bronx, so I'm proud of them. As a kid, what I did was for fun. I, I mean, I used to play. I used to play. I used to play ball when I was a kid. Like go to the park, play ball. I used to play manhunt. Like I even used to play tag. Like as a little kid, for me, I used to do all types of stuff. And then you just transition as you got older. My dream job growing up was always to be an artist. Like it wasn't necessarily a rapper or a singer. It was just an artist. Like actually, it was more like a public figure. He was sex, so I didn't really care if it was acting or what. And I always imagined it happened. I never really doubted it. It's just like that's why, like sometimes uh, people say stuff to me, and, and and they think like you're not excited. Like nah, because it's not even where I want to be at yet. I'm gonna get excited when I get to what I'm looking at, what I'm thinking about right now. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, I listened to like 50 Cent, um, Rihanna, Drake. Who else? Lil Wayne. Like, all the projects Cali used to put out. Like, I feel like he had a good quality of music. Like, that was really like, you know, Young Money. My, 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 my first day home, like literally my first day home. Well, actually I came home and I stood in the crib the whole day. The next day I went to the studio. Like, I heard about some of my friends, they was making music. It was like little, like drilly music, like, gang gang music type stuff and I'm like nah I got some other type of shit like yeah I ain't never seen this before but I got some other shit I've been writing so I'm about to see how this sound and I like I hesitated at first but I'm like nah I started I go to the studio and I'm like damn this sound this sound sound like I thought it was sound you know what I'm saying so that's just how I started making music I started going to a studio that was like probably like two blocks from from the hood and it was somebody crib and we used to record right there we just have to turn the AC off it was wild hot and just record off a mic on a computer right here, and like in a room, in a bedroom. I just love when I see like, when I, when I see reactions of fans when they see me, it's just like, I just think about like, damn. Like right now, like as a, being an artist I am, I don't really get that same feeling, but I know what it is because I've been there before, like when I was younger and I looked up to somebody like, or some crazy and be like, yo, I just listen to your music. So I just like, I like the, I like the, I like the feeling I give people, you know what I'm saying? I like, I like the fact that I'm a role model to kids. I used to be able to dance. <laughs> and I think that acting could be a talent. I just gotta have somebody else judge it because I can't judge myself on it because I probably just be gassing myself up. Avatar was my favorite cartoon when I was younger. Like the last year been the Avatar though. And um, TV, I probably say Big Time Rush. Avatar was just like it was just so interesting to me. Like I used to be on it, and you know what else? Wrestling. But Avatar, I don't know. I used to just I used to be on it. I used to wait for every episode to drop, and I don't know what it was that, but I was just very into it. And Big Time Rush, that probably was. I don't know. I guess it's because I wanted to be an artist, and I was just looking at them, and they was coming. They was just trans transforming into bigger artists. So it was like. It's your boy Lil TZ and this is who I am.